All right, welcome back to Start Your Day. Sharon getting started with a cup of joe, cup of coffee. Is it good? This is uh, very good. It's my uh, Mutumbo coffee, Georgetown. Um, you it wakes you up. Like that. You can't be. That's right. No, 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 this no. is newest that thing. Coffee is so good. It is so good. And I feel like it has that extra punch, you know, the beans from the homeland. Uh -huh. um, so I wake up mm -hmm. with that. I did, uh, you know, he's my fellow Hoya. And I said, uh, can yep. I get a couple of these mugs? So now I got two of them. One for me, one for baby girl. And um, I'm on my second cup. I like that. Uh, speaking of that, uh, I'm a, we're going to get to uh, Katrina Thompson. She's a Winston-Salem police chief. In just a second about uh, law enforcement, being a black person in law enforcement, how to make it better in the black communities. But did you see, all right, Patrick Ewan, I know you're a Hoya. Uh, Dikemi Mutombo, love him. I've always been a big Georgetown Hoya fan. Big Patrick Ewan fan. Shout out to Georgetown in the semifinals of the Big East Tournament. Big upset yesterday against Villanova. But the news coming out of it was Patrick Ewing in Madison Square Garden where he played many seasons for the mm -hmm. Knicks where his number is up in the rafters saying he was accosted by security numerous times for not having the right credentials. And he's like, I pretty much helped make this building. Nah. <laughs> nah. Like, New York, you don't see too many seven-footers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, right? You look suspicious. That's weird. Um, yeah, that is crazy. Um, but, you know, it's not the first time Patrick has um, been able to ride out a storm and claim victory after, you know. He, he went through some stuff mm -hmm, supported mm -hmm. by the great... Uh, legendary coach John Thompson, who we still miss, who we love so much, who yes. turned out so many great black men. Um, but yeah, that that is crazy. But that's okay, okay. Georgetown, the Hoya is right where we're supposed to be, Michael. Right, winning. Right. Well, yeah. Hey, hey you know what? They're um, they they still got uh, to win tonight to uh, have any hope of winning, get, get into the NCAA tournament. They got to win the Big East tournament in order to get in, but. They're playing much better on the patch of Ewan, but stop it, MSG security. I mean, this man yeah. played many years there. He's a seven, how many seven footers <laughs> walking around Madison Square Garden that look like Patrick Ewan wow. that isn't Patrick Ewan? But it also reminds me of what Charles Oakley went through a couple of years ago when they kicked him oh, out of the garden. So remember he, that? <laughs> it's, that was James what? Dolan, which is another story. I'm a Knicks fan. Yeah. Um, you mentioned John Thompson. All right. So I love this man mm -hmm. because he looked out for young black men. Uh, and, and one of his greatest accomplishments or greatest stories was uh, the way he helped out Allen Iverson. You know, Allen Iverson, the story. Oh, man. Obviously, yeah. uh, went to jail when he was in high school. He got out of jail. No colleges really wanted to touch him. John Thompson and uh, mm -hmm. Allen Iverson's mom asked John Thompson. John Thompson gave him a second chance. And AI credits this man mm -hmm. with saving his life. But you mm -hmm. go back to the law and how it's applied to black people as compared to white mm -hmm. people. And Allen Iverson was set to spend a lot of time in jail for a brawl uh, at a bowling alley because it, you know, yeah, it had racial overtones. White people were involved and whatnot. So uh, it, it, that's one of the reasons why it's hard for a lot of black people because of the injustice or the lack of equality when it comes to justice, uh, proper sentencing, uh, that a lot of black people don't trust law enforcement or the law itself. Yeah. And it, and it goes all through, right? I mean, when you talk about the disproportionate numbers of, of 50 percent, you know, we, we've been in Hennepin County, right? Seven out of 10 people there are white. But then when you look at the prisons there, 50 percent are black. Mm -hmm. You know, it doesn't add up. When mm -hmm. you look at the jury pool, when you look at, you know, and people who ultimately serve on a jury, people stop by police. I mean, the case law, the things that have been uncovered, it's it's pretty incredible. And what I loved about Coach was, again, there's that word, unapologetic, okay? Yeah. You want to throw bananas mm -hmm. at my star player? That's what you want to do? Come on, we're out of here. Walk right off the court. Take them off the court. Prop, what, right 42, off right? Right off mm -hmm. the court. Mm -hmm. We will walk up out of here. We have value, mm -hmm. right? So, mm -hmm. and, you know, going there, and I don't want to date myself, but I was probably on campus with uh, AI. Um, you're going to go to class. You're going to do as you're mm -hmm. told. Um, he was one of the very few mm -hmm. who left early, you know, uh, a, a huge talent. So he went on to the NBA, but yeah. most players graduate. You know, Dikembe is yes, a, a friend and boy, he could have been a doctor, right? 
Yes, he could. So yes. I just, um, yeah, that, that's a that's a great legacy there, and I think it's the way to be to say we're here, we're not going anywhere. And by the way, if my whole team is black, okay, so what? Hmm? So what? Right. Yeah, it's true. Because I'm and, just going and, and, after know, the he, best people. I and what's crazy about Georgetown, if you look at the, uh, the student, the personnel, and the demographics there, I mean, you rarely see black people on campus unless it's the basketball team. But back in the '80s. Before your time, Sharon, we, we thought Georgetown in the black community, we thought it was a, another HBCU. Yes. Because of the basketball team. I know. Team. You know, it was yes. all black. Because he and, gave yeah. black kids an opportunity at a great school. Georgetown is a, a tremendous mm -hmm. school. And like you mentioned, he made them go to class. Mm -hmm. uh, they got their education and they went on to become uh, productive citizens even after basketball. So mm -hmm. I love that. Oh, it's an incredible fraternity. And yeah, you know, um, I, I saw other people who looked like me, but you're right. People did think it was that extension of an HBCU. And then you had the whole, how it influenced the culture, you know, from the uniforms, mm -hmm. the way they mm -hmm. wore them. You got the Jay-Z's of the world wearing the, you know, the, the Hoya caps, Biggie rapping about Georgetown. Um, I love that school. Um, I support that school. And um, mostly because I think of that legacy, because, you know, where I sit mm -hmm. today, I think HBCUs are where it's at, and that we should encourage our Amen. children to go to HBCUs. But um, I end up going to Georgetown, and there's a lot I think yeah. um, there's a lot to be proud about there. Yeah, that's great, great education. I encourage our, our our black kids to go to any university because we were mentioning far too long there were more black men or black people in jail than actually in college. Uh. I think that number's changed, but you know we got to make that discrepancy uh, go higher mm -hmm. on the college side and, and much yeah. more on the, yeah. uh, on the jail side. We're going to talk to a law enforcement agency about that. Agent, I should say, a sheriff who's trying to make a difference in her community. We'll do that when we get back on Start Your Day. Stick around.